Yo, what's up guys? Uh, this is Aaron, and if you're receiving this video, it's because you are part of our beta tester program for the new Launchpad app we're developing uh, for MIDI note quantization. And we're gonna talk a little bit today about how to set it up. I'm gonna get you a downloadable plugin so that you can start using it right away, and uh, hopefully you'll have some feedback for us. Okay, as you know, the primary goal of this app is to quantize the MIDI notes uh, so that this is a more playable surface. We're gonna put the scales across the rows and chords down the columns and be able to change what, chord, what key we're in, what scale we're using, uh, and everything else. Secondary goal is that it's available as a plugin and that it doesn't interfere, for example, with Ableton. So Ableton already has a lot of integration uh, in here and we want to be able to retain everything that Ableton does while at the same time extending that and allowing for you to play this plugin with quantized notes and everything. So um, let me just start up the app. After you download, you'll see a uh, new plugin called the Launchpad Player. We're looking for a better name, by the way. If anyone has suggestions, <laughs> send them over. Um, and here it is. As soon as you start up, you're looking at this grid, uh, but we don't see it yet here. So how do we get it here? Well, we're gonna demo this first with the Pro, but it works with the Pro and the MK2. On the Pro, uh, we're taking advantage of the fact that there's a programmer mode, that's the orange button here. So the green mode is live mode, which you're accustomed to looking at, but if you hold the setup key and click the orange button, you'll go into programmer mode. Uh, I'm gonna just skip this and take a look. So here's programmer mode. Uh, if you don't hear anything, it's... Uh, Sometimes necessary to switch the uh, inputs on some of these. I had record enabled. Yeah, if record's not enabled, you have to have the input monitor on, on Ableton, in order to get the audio, get the MIDI. So if you do this and you have no MIDI coming in, um, make sure you are routing it properly on whatever channel. Uh, and now, once it, that's done, you can see it's already connected, already working. It's lighting up the pad appropriately. Uh, I can change octaves, and you'll see that the colors change um, as you go, for example, to really low octaves and really high octaves. Uh, and change key right here. can also change the octaves here and uh, what note we're in. Now, you'll notice all of these pads work, but these so far don't do anything. Uh, they need to be MIDI, MIDI mapped. Uh, starting next week, it's going to download a map automatically for you, but for now, you have to do this manually. Add MIDI trigger, click, and now we can change uh, the octaves, for example, just by touching these two buttons. All right, so you could map them any way you want, but of course, they're meant to be mapped uh, across as the way you see them here. Okay, um, we're going to demo the MK2, but before we do that, let's look at the instruments. You notice. You automatically have some sounds. Uh, here's your instrument rack, and this plugin is also a VST and audio unit host. So if you have uh, synths that you like, like here's this one, you know, we can load up any synth you want uh, to play this way, but it comes automatically with uh, one of our synths, addiction synth, um, so you can play around with that. You can also, uh, of course, it's got quite a lot of different voices. Okay, now let's demo the MK2 quickly. First of all, you'll notice it's a little trickier. You don't always get the audio coming through. The reason for that is because Ableton will only route MIDI to this device if it's in user mode. So first thing you need to do is put it in user mode. Um, one or two right now will work, but I think we're gonna limit that to one eventually. If you put it, if you click mixer mode, you get your normal Ableton mixer. If you get session mode, you get your normal Ableton session. So you should be able to completely control Ableton as usual. Uh, all of those signals will be ignored by the, uh, by the plugin. But then as soon as you click into user mode, You 
should be able to go straight into plane uh, as usual. A couple other things, there's a session mode you'll notice as well. So if you have samples, uh, you can play this right now as a, you can play this right now as a uh, drum rack, but that's, that's a little bit more in beta. We're going to talk more about that next week. Start using that. We can also uh, put loops in here and everything else. But if you're using it in Ableton, you, you probably are going to be doing those things in Ableton anyway, but it's nice to have an additional ability to uh, add some extra sounds here. And uh, I think eventually we might do a sequencer mode, but we'll see. Cool. So uh, we've got velocity sensitivity in there and aftertouch and channel pressure. I'm really interested to see uh, what you guys think of it. Play around. I hope it's easy to use. I hope it works out well for you. And uh, send whatever feedback you can through the website or just to my email address. I think everyone should have it.